The story starts a little more than a year ago. I'm pretty chubby with no style. I have no idea on how to talk to people. All I do is watch Marvel movies while eating chips and coke. That's all I do. I go to school and get pretty good grades. The, during the breaks I don't talk to anyone, I only watch Marvel movies. Then I get back home and I play some Marvel video games, but only if I have the motivation to even turn it on. If I don't, then I just lie down and watch movies on my phone. This was my reality, I was down bad. I was much below the people drinking and taking drugs my age. I was much below everybody I knew. As you can probably imagine, the constant feeling of loneliness made me depressed as fuck and also the lack of social skills made me anxious every social interaction I had. During the late October 2022, I broke. I remember lying in my bed, lying in my bed thinking about suicide, like literally all the time my brain jumping from should I kill myself, should I jump from that window or should I not? And obviously the smart brain won, as you can see right now, but I was all the time just jumping between the idea of jumping out of the window and not jumping. And it just made me so fucking overwhelmed that I cried. And that may seem like a normal thing, like everybody cries, right? But no, for me crying is literally, this is so rare for me. Like literally maybe I cry once a year, once every two years, maybe even once every five years. That's how rare it is for me to cry. And that day I cried. So five tears go down, I go to my bathroom and I look deep inside my eyes and just say loudly in my mind, don't be a bitch. And this is what I believe was my fuck this event. The moment that I couldn't have taken it anymore and I hit rock bottom. So there's literally no space to even go even, even further down. So I just needed to get back up from then. My dad is on, was on self-improvement for like 40 years. So I always knew some concepts. I started saving up every penny since I was literally five years old or something like that. I started my entrepreneurship journey or like I just started to research how to make money online when I was literally 10, five years ago. I made my first dollar and $100 when I was 12 online. So because I saved up a lot of money, I started to naturally get interested in investing in trip in crypto and also in trading on forex so after that fuck this event i started to get more interested into that and also the summer one and a half years ago was already a kind of self-improvement as i didn't really had friends back then so i had a habit my first self-improvement habit was to watch a video of like learning to trade i had like a full free course of 100 videos and every day I needed to watch at least one video for 10 minutes. So one 10 minute video of how to trade better and then also implement it for like five. So that's what my self-improvement journey was like one and a half years ago. And also that summer I started exercising as I always, literally always wanted a six pack and I never did anything towards it. So that summer I started doing up crunches and sit ups every single day. So obviously when school started, all those habits disappeared because I got anxious every single day at school because there's a lot of people there. I couldn't have talked to anyone. So it really made me very anxious. And that all of that led to just crying in my bathroom, my fuck this event. So after the fuck this event, I started to do I wanted to go to get to, I wanted to get to the gym with my friend, but just I felt that I was super weak. Like literally, I couldn't have done a single push up back then. So I just stole some three kilogram dumbbells from my dad and started doing like one pull up at a time because yeah, I could have done one pull up and I couldn't have done one push up. I don't know what my fucking body composition was, but it was really weird. Like. I started doing some push-ups, some knee push-ups, some negative pull-ups, or just normal one pull-up, 
and also some spider curls because that's what I saw on TikTok. That was like my beginning of working out. And then during that time before Hamza, a friend approached me once and he told me just like my friend from my classroom, he told me just to go with him to like this space where he and his new friends met up. And I just went there. I didn't talk to anyone. I didn't greet anyone. I just stand it there. <laughs> Bro, it was, it made me really fucking anxious, but just standing there alone improved my social skills. That's how low I was. So then I just kept on returning there every single day, every single break. And after a while, I spoke some words. Then I started to greet everybody and it just slow progress of social skills. Okay, bro. So all the progress was really slow, like really slow, but it was something. Okay. But then one day, one video changed my entire direction of my life. So imagine this, I'm watching a trading video from this guy called the trading gig he has like his unfiltered section at the end of these videos and he starts talking about some meditation to improve my life and i just i just don't give a shit okay i just yeah whatever go fuck yourself but then on the right side of my screen a thumbnail appears and the title is how to start meditating the video the the youtuber that made that video is the person that saved my life, Hamza. So I watched that video and then another one and then another one. And I liked them so much that you remember how I watched Marvel movies constantly before, during breaks, before sleep, during fucking sleep, bro. So right now it was all about Hamza videos. I would watch them. I'm, I'm going downstairs to those like new friends of mine. I'm listening to Hamza. It's boring during the lesson, I'm listening to Hamza. I'm going back home, I'm listening to Hamza. I'm in the gym, or I'm just exercising, I'm listening to Hamza. Every single moment of my day, I'm listening to Hamza. And even some people started to like literally make fun of me because it was really weird. Like I literally would sit during the lessons even in my headphones when the teacher was speaking to me, I'd still listen to Hamza at that time. But I just didn't fucking care, bro. He teached me extreme self-improvement. He kept me accountable. And this is just what completely changed my life. That's why I'm forever grateful for that guy in the bathrobe. So I started meditating. I started going to the gym. My social skills still went on to improve a bit. And I also started to do some meditation, some gratitude journaling, because that's what Hamza recommended and I loved him so much. So really soon, a lot of people started to notice. They started to see how my physique changes, how my style changes, how my looks change. And I got lots and lots of compliments. And actually the best compliment I've ever got was calling me weird because I have a full on morning routine. That, it was literally a compliment for me but I still felt like a shell of a man. I couldn't control my feelings at all. I always chased after girls. I had like no female attraction at all, like almost no. And so it would feel right to just during the summer, completely focus on going out with other people, right? Well, I did quite the opposite. I did an extreme version of monk mode completely no friends, no people around me, except my parents because I live with them. And I did it, but like the reason in my mind was that I really need to focus on myself. That was also what I told other people, but now I re it's really easy to recognize the truth. It was just, I was scared to go out with people. It still made me so anxious. I went to the gym five or six times a week. I ended back testing my trading strategy and started to trade with real money. I also opened this YouTube channel. I started to view sunlight to have like, to start fasting, but to bulk real well. I started to eat eight eggs and eight sandwiches every single breakfast. And I just, I did all those different self-improvement habits that I didn't have time for during school. And it may seem like, it was the best time of my life or the worst time of my life, but it was actually both.
because I made incredible progress and also because of that intense constant feeling of loneliness. So mid-summer I decided that I should finally fucking break myself, get out of my comfort zone and start improving my social skills. So I made a plan exactly how to do it. When I got back to school, I started immediately talking to as many people as possible. I approached some people on the street. I talked to some people at the gym and my social skills really fucking skyrocketed, bro. And this is basically it. Here I am, a new man. I've put out a ton of muscle. I have a girlfriend. I have a group of friends. And I'm really healthy, like, probably the healthiest person you know and I'm knowledgeable in many fucking areas and I also am beginning to make some money bro and that's just a beginning literally one year I'm planning to live up to like at least a hundred years bro and I'm 15 so <laughs> we will see where I will end up in two five ten years we will see how tall the mountain is go conquer the world hope